Hey guys, it's Haley, and before we get started, let's just address the elephant in the room, which is this little kitty cat, who is the cutest kitty cat in the entire world. And I just stuttered a million times while saying that, but in case there was any confusion, so cute, so cute. <laughs> anyway, so the story that I have to tell you all today is um, the story of how, well, this happened, that's a thing. Um, so I tried to dye my own hair, I, I don't recommend it, <laughs> um, obviously it did not turn out very well, it used to be worse, but better, it's complicated, anyways, let's roll into the video. So, it started out when I saw Miss Kylie Jenner's blue hair, and you know, you all know who she is, it was like, the talk of the century, Kylie Jenner, dye your hair blue, whatever, it was really cool, it was great. And then Keisha Brinley did a similar sort of thing, except she dyed hers like lavender, and I was like, wow, I really want to do that. I like how it turned out. And so I decided, hey, cutting my hair off was not a big enough change. Let's freaking dye it pastel. And so I almost actually dyed my entire head, because like, whoa, whew, nothing can hurt me. I'm cool like that. And I opted out of it, thank God, because wowza, things took a turn for the worst. Anyway, so I have a store that was like pretty close to me that I can actually walk to in like five minutes. So I decided, hey, I'm lazy. I don't want to get anyone to drive me to the store. So I just decided to walk up there and deal with whatever hair color they had. And it turns out among all of like, it was so weird, among all of like the natural hair colors, there was like this one, like figure out which one doesn't belong. And it was like this bright purple hair dye. So I was like, I want that on my head. And so I was grabbing to buy it, but I was like, wait, I have dark hair. I need to bleach it first. So I grabbed this bleach, but then the box of hair dye was like, wait, hold up. We have everything. We have bleach, hair dye, clubs, instructions, this, that, bang, bang, bang. And I was like so surprised and dumbfounded about all the stuff that they had to offer me. So I was like, whoa, this is so great. For the small price of $11.02, I can get everything that I need to make my hair bright purple. So I did not even end up buying bleach. I buy it and I'm like, I am good to go. And I go upstairs into the bathroom and I spend literally, it took hours because they're like, I followed the instructions this time, you know, kind of proud of myself. And they're like, oh, leave the bleach on for no more than an hour, but make sure that your hair is like white, like white when it's done being bleached. And I was like, okay. I have really dark hair, so you can either have one or the other. I can either have, like, blonde hair, or I can leave it on for an hour. But obviously, I did not want to go up Britney Spears and have my hair fall on my head, so I only left it on for an hour to, like, prevent maximum damage or whatever. And so, after I get out of the shower and I blow dry and everything, I'll insert pictures, um, my hair was yellow. Not blonde, it was yellow. But like the idiot that I am, I just assumed that like the hair dye people, whoever created this, I just assumed like, hey, they know what they're talking about. They said to leave it on for an hour. I left it on for an hour. This is what I have. And so I get out this hair dye and it was like really dark purple. So I mixed some like conditioner in it to kind of lighten it up because I wanted it like lavender, not like grape. And so I mix the conditioner in it and I'm like, yeah, like lathering it on. It's getting all over the place which I thought like, hey, it's gonna be easy to get off because like hair dye companies, they're, they've been in this business for a long time. So they understand like, hey, these idiots that are drying their hair at home are gonna like get it all over themselves. So we'll make our product like easy to get off. But that was not the case because they ended up saying in the instructions that if you get it on yourself, you're pretty much screwed. So um, I actually did end up getting it off myself with, um, yeah, got a couple like hickey looking like stains on my neck, but whatever, they're all gone now. And as I was like taking my shirt off to like get in the shower, I was an idiot and decided to wear the shirt that I had made or that I had bought or whatever when I was like 11. And I have gotten slightly bigger since I was 11. So the neck was like pretty tight around there. But as I'm taking it off, I'm like, yeah, I can get this off without it touching my face. And I was like, yes victory and I accidentally let it go like right before I actually got it off and it slapped against my face and I got like hair dye all over my face and that was just <sighs> that was only one of the small casualties of the entire thing 
Anyways, and so I get in the shower and I wash it out and it is not purple. And I'm looking at it and it's like this magnetic color. And so I'm like, you know what? I can deal with this. I can deal with this. It was like this deep magnetic, almost kind of grapey, whatever. And I was like, hey, this is not lavender by any means, but I can deal with it. I kind of like it. And so I get out of the shower and I blow dry it. And wow, what a nightmare. <laughs> it was like this weird pink color. It was all like destroyed because of the bleach and not all of it got like died like there were still some like bleached parts up here and then it faded into like this gross pink and it was <sighs> it was really horrible but i needed a haircut anyway so um i cut my hair because i figured see my whole like thought process during this whole entire horrible event was hey i cut my own hair so why not dye my own hair let's just do everything ourselves and mess it all up so i cut like a good inch of my hair off but <sighs> it was too late the damage was already done so i had to be a rocker with my half pink hair. It's like fading back to like orange now. <sighs> like um, the bleach, how it looked like before I dyed it. It's really horrible and gross. And I just, I don't like it. But yeah, so I will probably end up trying it all over again. But toner, toner, you need toner. And people kept asking me, they're like, did you use Kool-Aid to dye your hair? And I felt like so disappointed because no, I spent $11 to do this. I did not just buy Kool-Aid at the dollar store, but waste of $11, evidently. Anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed the story, and I will see you all next week.